What's up guys and welcome back to Need for Speed Heat. In this video, we are going to be building our first ever drift car, which is kind of exciting and uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see what we can do. So we're here in the uh, the showroom, the, uh, the dealership, and we have quite a few new cars uh, available based on our upgrade. So if you guys take a look down the bottom left, you can see the little like, you know, off-road race drift road kind of diagram thing and the dot shows you what that car is optimized for. So, I mean, you could technically turn any car in this game into a drift car, but obviously we want something drift focused. So like the 65 Mustang wouldn't be bad. Ooh, the Fairlady Z, that, that, that could be pretty cool. Oh my gosh, these things are beautiful. We are definitely gonna check that out eventually. I don't know if we're gonna do it right now though. Could go with a Plymouth Barracuda, could be kind of interesting. This is the primary car I had in mind, the uh, Subaru BRZ. So, I mean, these things are cheap, $36,000. We could really spend a lot of money tuning it up and making it great. 36K for a level 117, get it up to level 200, make it look nice. I feel like that could be pretty good. Uh, we've also got some JDM options. So like there's a, um, a, a Sylvia here. There are a couple of Beamers that might be decent for it. There's a, a 370Z, a 350Z would be a good drift car. We've got the RX-7 here, which we definitely are going to make one of these eventually, but we did just use our friend's RX-7 in a recent episode, so I want to mix it up. Uh, I'm trying to look what else here. An 06 M3 could be kind of dope. We've got the, um, got the R32 GTR as well as the R34. Um, hmm... Other than that, it looks like that's about it. Yeah, I, th I think I'm going to go with the BRZ today. You know, we've, we've got a, a good mix starting here, but I feel like the, the BRZ is going to be the play. So let's go ahead and purchase this thing, $36,500. We are going to head on back to our garage. So we're going to start things off with performance. Let me take a look at our, uh, our races that we have available. So we've got a, a drift race here, recommended level 220. We've got a drift race here, recommended level 200. We've got this mission recommended level 200, and then I think we also have some daytime drifts available as well. Level 200, looking like, looking like two, 200 is about where we want to be. So let's go ahead and put some uh, some money into this thing. Ooh, that's gonna. Ooh, shoot, this is this is gonna end up getting pretty expensive, isn't it? I, it's gonna be kind of tough to get us up up that high. I think. We'll see. That's gonna take us up to a 140. I'm going to keep buying the pro options here. We're only going to be at a 144, dude. And we also, don't we kind of want, don't we want a, a drift suspension? We're going to buy that. Shoot, we are draining the bank account way quicker than I thought we were going to. I'm going to put some drift tires on there. Uh, we've we've kind of got a problem here, man. We, uh, I, I didn't really anticipate this, but like we, we don't really have many other upgrades that are going to make that big of a difference. I mean, we could put a turbo in there. For 20k, I mean that's a, that's a lot of money. I mean, really, what we need is we need the higher end of some of these bigger parts here. Like that'll give us plus six, and then a new ECU can get us up to plus six and stuff like that. But we don't even have that unlocked yet, and those are really expensive. Are we gonna be able to? Ha are we still gonna be able to drift? Like, can we, do, you, do you guys think we can still put up a good score even though we're like three quarters of the level we should be? I mean, to be honest, I'm not too worried about it. Like the, the drifting, it's not like we're racing other people. So I, I think if anything, I'll just have to drive a little bit better if the car is under power. But we're we're gonna be okay. So let's let's get into uh, some customization here let's see uh see what we've got going on we're gonna edit our wrap and let's see what we want to do now what do you guys think i mean i'm not i'm not sure what color i want to go with i kind of want to go with something a little bit different you know obviously we've we've had whites and blacks and stuff like that so far so maybe would it be crazy if we went with like an aqua like this like i i feel like that looks pretty nice what kind of a Metallic looks good. The satin looks good. Ooh, the color shift looks interesting. Iridescent. I don't want to go too crazy though. Like I, I'm thinking of metallic. Take a look around this thing. Yeah, dude. I, I feel like that. I feel like that looks pretty nice. I like that color a lot. Like a robin's egg type blue. So uh, looks good to me. I guess next up, let's take a look at our rims. See, uh, see what we want to go with here. There's just so many options in this game. I mean, honestly, we, we could go with something classy, just like a black, or we could go with something like this that kind of looks a little more drift inspired. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go ahead and buy those. Let me back out here, see how those look. I feel like make them a little bit bigger. I don't know what it is. I just, I like, I like big rims. Back out there. Uh, yeah, that, 
That looks pretty good. I like that. Now, what do we like better? Do we like the, the black rim around there? Or do we like the white? I'm kind of a fan of the black. I think I'm I think I'm gonna go with the, the black. I haven't messed with the calipers in this game yet. We could add... Ooh, some of these are pretty sick, dude. Do we want, like, a blue? I feel like a yellow could look really cool. I'm gonna go with the, the stop tech yellow right here. How's that look? Dude, I, I feel like that, that that's coming together pretty well. I mean, we really haven't done that much yet, but it's it's looking pretty good. Okay, so next up, let's take a look at the body kit. What do we want to rock with this? I mean, you guys you guys know I'm a bit of a... Ooh, ooh some of these are pretty nasty. I'm not going to lie. Oh, the Varus full body kit. $13,000. YOLO, dude. I'm doing it. I like going through and doing my own stuff, but that, dude, that looks nasty that looks absolutely nasty and at least now we don't have to worry about spending any extra money because we've already spent it all you know what i mean do we want a uh i know chelsea's not a fan of it you guys may have seen it in the um the the uh forza video but i am kind of a fan of the carbon the carbon hoods i think i'm gonna go with the charge speed hood here Whoo, dude this thing is can we get a carbon trunk please tell me we can get a carbon trunk lid Carbon? Nope. Can't do it. Spoiler? Should we put a spoiler on there? I mean, I think we definitely need some sort of a spoiler, right? The problem is I feel like the spoilers are all so freaking big in this game. The Varus is pretty good there. We'll put that on the back end. Trunk lid. Oh, we can put a, a ducktail trunk lid on there now. I don't think we need that, though. Do we want to smoke out the tail lights? I feel like something like that. The Speed Hunters looks pretty good. Dude, this thing... <laughs> This thing is, is nasty, I'm not gonna lie. We need to get some new exhaust tips. Maybe something something like that. Yes, sir, thousand bucks. I mean, that's such a small detail, but it looks nice. Bro, this thing turned out so nasty. So nasty. Oh my goodness, dude, that looks fantastic. Y'all know what the deal is, though. We gotta get this exhaust sound, so let's hear the stock. I like a bit more of an aggressive sound. That that sounds pretty good to me. All right, we got it, boys. Whew. Bro, this is some hot fire. This is definitely the best the best looking car that we've made yet. Now, here's the thing. This thing can look beautiful. It can look nice sitting in a garage, but if it doesn't perform, then it's not going to be doing its job. So here we go, boys. We need uh, 90,000 for a drift score here. I just realized we probably should have put some camber on the wheels to help us out a little bit with that, but uh, that's, that's fine. We'll see how she does here. First time driving it. Feeling feeling pretty good so far. Oh, dude, we're gonna be able to hit 90. We're gonna be able to hit 90 for sure. Look at this. Look at these nice, long, swoopy drifts. I was hoping to be able to go right and left a couple more times there and link those, but we, we didn't quite make it. We're 17% of the race, about 30% of the way through, so I... I think, uh, I think we're gonna be okay here. Woo! So that's, that's good to know. Even if we're under-leveled, which we're like a 140, and I think it was calling for a 200. Even if you're under-leveled in the drifting, it, it really doesn't matter all that much. You can, uh, you can still get it done. Woo. We need a bit more speed through that corner, and we'd be able to carry a nice, long drift. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it here on lap two. Here we go, come around this way, getting in the, the dirt a little bit. Not the end of the world. Yeah, I mean, more power, we would definitely be able to connect these a lot better. We'd be able to keep them going. We just, we can't really get up to speed like we want to. But uh, I guess, I guess that's just a part of the job, man. Watch out for that sign. Another little one around here. And the little one around here, and that's gonna put us over our uh, our target mark, our target score. Nice job. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this up. Let's let's hit this one last drift here. I want to see if we can get enough speed. So basically, we want to keep speed up through here. We don't really want to drift. Keep it up. 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 Get more speed. Ah, no, we just don't have the speed, dude. 
I want to be able to swoop that whole thing, but we just we, we don't have the speed to, to keep that going. So I'll finish this out. We already won. Let's go, boys. So safe to say we killed that one, man. That was uh, that was awesome. Now we're down here by the docks. This is oh shoot, hello car. This is gonna be the same spot where we learned to drift a few episodes ago, I guess. We've got a new one down here, drift duel. Hey, how's Stardom treating you? You getting plenty of attention on the street now? Working on it. Trying to. Hey, cool, cool. Yeah, cause I'm noticing a lot more patrol cars cruising past my door these days. A cop came in to inspect my records, making sure I'm checking licenses. Looking for an excuse to shut me down. But they can't, right? They just ain't found the right excuse yet. Look, I know you like attracting attention, but it's not always a good idea. You hear me? That spotlight shines on everyone around you. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to. Hey, forget about it. I could look after myself. I'm kind of glad Anna's off the road, but don't tell her I said that. Just know what you're getting into. Dang, dude. I'll see you later. So we've got our mechanic, our boy, our garage, who hooked this up and has done everything for us. He's like, yo, you need to calm it down. The streets are too hot. Meanwhile, his sister's like, nah, you got to keep going. You got to keep pushing. We got to make a name for ourselves. We got to get into the league and everything else. So kind of uh, stuck in a hard place here, but uh, we're going to knock this out. And then, um, I, actually, I think this might be this, is this the same race? The target 60,000, I think this is going to be the exact same race, it's just we're doing it in our own car. So, uh, this should be, should be fairly easy, we should be able to knock this out quickly, and then, uh, I think we have a, another day drift race, and then a night drift race, and then there's also a, a drift mission, so we're definitely, oh shoot, not really, really stuck in there, didn't want to turn. But uh, we're definitely gonna gonna check out that that drift mission as well. So um, I don't know. Just gonna keep on keep on keeping on, baby. Hopefully, try to make a little bit of money so we can. Oh man, this thing it doesn't want to swing back left. I keep trying to get it to swing back left, and it just it doesn't do it. We just need more power, man. We really do, but we're gonna be okay. Got a right, left, and then another right. Okay, that was that was pretty good. That was pretty sexy. We hit our target score. Let's go. With one lap to spare, we'll take it. All right, let's uh, let's finish this thing out, and then I'll I'll see you guys in our next daytime race. Back in the city side, baby. Back over towards the beach. Actually, the the north section of the beach. We haven't spent a lot of time up here yet. There goes a cop. What's up, buddy? They don't mess with you during the daytime. At nighttime, they'll pull you over just for being out on the road, but during the daytime, you have to run into them to get them to chase you. So, here we go. We've got, uh, ooh, the Hurricane Fly Drift Trial. All right. Kind of an interesting name. So, we're going to check this out, and then we're going to take it to an, an underground street racing drift trial, which we haven't done yet. Should be interesting. But the Hurricane Fly. Reach 150. Okay, this... This makes me a bit nervous. This might be a little bit too much than, than what we can chew. It's all up to us now. Let's get it, baby. Here we go. We are just going to have to uh, have to race our hearts out, man. Get around the, the edge of this hill. Try to use the downhill section to be able to keep our speed up a little bit. And really, we just... We want to keep it smooth. We want to keep it steady. We want to link what we can. It's going to be tough without having the, the torque. But really, we just want to, we want to keep the, the multipliers up. See, like that just fell to a two there. We didn't want that. Try to keep it up to a three, but we also got to keep our speed up so we we can't drift too much. Otherwise, we lose the speed and then we don't end up drifting well at all. Um, so we've got three laps here. We want to hit uh, we want to hit 50k per lap is going to be our goal here. Looking pretty good so far. Not even done with the first lap yet, so we might actually... Oh, shoot. Sucks that we hit that. We lost a bit of, uh, bit of momentum, but we might actually... We might be okay. We're not on lap two yet, and we're at 50K, so... All right. I'll take it, dude. We might, we might be able to squeeze this out, man. It's, it's not going to be easy, but... I, uh, I think if we stay fairly consistent, we might be able to... Work. Where's the dude? This is a really long lap, man. Gotta go over this and then boom. I think that's where we started. Alright, so 
62k in the first lap. I mean, if we can keep that up, we're going to be just fine. I'm going to race this out, and uh, I'll let you guys know how it turns out. Ooh, that was a clean one right there. We do more like that, and we're going we're gonna to get this no problem. Well, guys, we were, uh, we were able to make it happen, baby. We got uh, about 160k, so uh, not bad. Severely underleveled. Had the whole world fighting against us, but uh, we were able to get it done. Look at that little wall tap at the end, too. Let's go, baby. All right. So we should that should be a fat paycheck. I'm going to be honest. $24,000. Yes, sir. It's going to take quite a bit of detailing to get those scrapes out, but that was, that was worth it. So this is going to be the spot for our next event, but we got to flip it over to nighttime, baby. Here we go. Let the neon out. Let's, uh, let's do it. This is going to be called Crom, the Crom Drift Trial. Recommended level 200. We can handle that, no big deal. So I think this is going to be our last one, last little warm-up thing. You know, just kind of getting used to the car, getting the feel for it, that sort of thing. Oh, this thing looks so nasty at night. Man, that looks beautiful. But yeah, we're going to take this on, and then we're going to head over to our next main mission. So it looks like 50k is going to be our goal. Are we lined up with anyone here, or is this... I'm assuming drifting is just going to be us. It would be dope to do some tandems and stuff. But no, this is just like a, a street drifting event. So here we go. Let's uh, let's get old girl up to speed. We get a little a little something right there, but we're going to focus on the uh, the actual hills and stuff. This is where our our bread and butter is going to be. Let's try to. Try to keep some nice swooping turns all the way around coming down this mountain. Just like that. All right. Looks pretty good. We're going to have some more swooping corners here. I mean, to be honest, this is... Oh, shoot. We've got traffic to deal with. I didn't even think about that. This is significantly easier than the, uh, the flat street races. Oh, shoot. We're going to have cops to deal with up here, too. He's on us, too. Of course. Let's see how, how good you can go sideways, Mr. Officer. Go for it, bro. Jawbreakers dealing with a lawbreaker. I mean, we already we already hit the target score, but I'm going to keep the drift going, man. Let's piss him off. This whole going uphill thing isn't going to work very well, to be honest. Probably could have drifted a little bit there, but the downhill with the speed is where we want to be. Yeah, we just, dude, we, we need a little bit more speed. If we could glide through these entire corners, that'd be so nice, but we just, we, we get a little sideways and it, it slows down too much. That was just a bad one right there by me. We didn't start to slide until it was too late. But yeah, if we could, if we could really kind of keep that going through there without having to snake left and right. That's, uh, that could be pretty nice. We still have quite a bit of track left, dude. I might escape the cops, too. See ya. Let's go. Woo! Okay. Cut that one a little bit too close for comfort, but, um, boom, there it is. All right, so, our final little warm-up race complete. Let's head on over and, uh... Let's go see what our boys got going on. Let's go to our next main mission. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I mean, this thing, obviously, it, it looks good going sideways, but uh, I, I just, I think it's a beaut, man. I really enjoy driving it. We've gotta build a, uh, a race spec version of this for sure, but uh, we made it. Sink or swim, driving story, recommended level 200. We're a 143, that's all right, bro. I'm down for it. Let's see what we got going on. I was hoping you'd come back. That first track was just a warm-up. This one takes it to another level. Let's see if you're ready. Okay. Target score of 125K. Let's get it. We've been practicing. We feel pretty good. We've been getting to know the car a little bit. Getting a feel for it. I think we're going to be okay. So let's get it. We got three laps. We need 125K. Oh, man. This is... I want to see that again. Thanks, bro. Always appreciate having a hype, man. This is gonna be a crazy one. So we're over here by the sewage plant that we raced around before. For whatever reason, 
we keep coming back to this spot. If we had a little more power, I think we could connect pretty much all these, but with a, uh, a lack of power, we're just going to have to make do. We could use a little nitrous here. Build up a, a bit of speed. Could help us in certain scenarios. This one might have legs. Woo! That was a nice one right there. On this one. Sliding, my friend. Where's our... Oh, dude, we're, we're going to be good. We're going to be able to beat this. We're already at 42k. Where's our, our checkpoint for the next lap? Oh, it was right there. Okay. Interesting. All right. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay. Oh, shoot. We didn't get a drift in right there, though. That's not good. I think we're going to be okay. This is kind of a fun one. I just, you know... I keep talking about the power, man. Next, next, next drift episode, we're gonna make sure we are fully powered. It's just gonna make it way more fun to be able to do little connections like that and really kind of keep these going. See, like here, I wanna, I wanna get that really sideways right there. We just don't have the the speed or the the torque to be able to do it. This one right after the the what's it called is pretty nice though. After we hit the nos, so we're uh. We're looking pretty good. We're up to about 77,000. I think... I think if we stay consistent to the end and don't dramatically mess anything up, we might be okay. It's gonna be close, boys! We need one last good one. We got it. Oh my goodness. Woo! Ah, that was... That was kind of a tough one. We... we you'd struggle with this one i'll make sure next time you do really had to focus up but we got it done i mean honestly again it, pff, only sixty six hundred dollars at the end of the day we got to make sure whatever drift car we choose next it's got to have the power that we need it's got to have the right rating and stuff because that was it, it was it was fun it was good but it could have been better so anyway i feel like that puts us in a good spot for this uh this drifting episode i'm gonna go ahead and uh I'm going to head out. I think we've got some new races and stuff we could do. Level 220. Oh, shoot. We're going to have to build up a car to be able to compete in these. We've got some of these. We've also got some night races we can do. And uh, lots of uh, lots of cool stuff happening. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you all later. Peace out.